Fire in the hole. That was two M80s, one in each, one in each watermelon that was downrange. Uh, people get hurt and killed by these devices every year. We will get involved with our partners, our city and state partners, when illegal explosives are actually um, found, especially this time of year, the M80s, the M100s, M250s, which are a flash powder component that is manufactured usually in somebody's garage, somebody's warehouse, somebody's backyard. So that's what they call the, the jokes on you. So you would think that it's gonna do one thing and then you get the delay and an explosion. With the city of Vancouver this year, um, the law has changed where we have three days of sales starting on July 2nd, and the only day of use is July 4th only. So to light off an illegal or light off a legal firework outside of the curfew is $250. If you light off a, a firework in the city park, it's the same citation, $250. However, if you have an illegal firework, uh, one may be purchased from a reservation or one maybe that you've modified yourself. That's a $500 citation. This is what we call a tennis ball bomb. Basically, they, it's a tennis ball and it has flash powder in it. It's a very dangerous device. The next device is what we call a mortar or an aerial shell. Uh, these are the devices that, that you see in a display firework or, or a fireworks display and again extremely dangerous Putting stuff on the city uh, you want to have a bucket of water handy to dispose of any used fireworks you also want to have a garden hose at your disposal in case something gets out of control uh, have a cell phone be prepared to call 911 uh, know your address if you're visiting somewhere you know, all these things have to be in place before you even start the fireworks.